my dear Aries, this is a love reading that will predict who is coming towards you with new chances of relationships. It is a prediction for Capricorn season, December 21st to Janu January 20, with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And this will be a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. You're going to find someone new. I really hope you do because I love you. The idea for the reading came from that song and uh, one of my viewers asking for it. So you can now become a member to my channel, either a supportive member that will get access to unique emojis, loyalty badges and Q&A's where I answer your most pressing questions. Or as an extended member that will also get most of my videos ahead of time and often free from ads um, or you can become a full member that will get access to my mediumship training videos and other special videos um, above everything else welcome to check this out through the link in the description box or through the join button next to the subscribe button if you are missing the join button you need to um, reload or uh, the, the latest version of the app okay upload the, the latest version of the app uh, accordingly to YouTube. And for my regular viewers, not much will change, except you will get more videos from me than you did before, thanks to the ones that become members to support my channel. And I will start shuffling your cards. And I used the uh, Before Tarot with Pietro Aligo. Uh, okay, so. When I open your deck here, I see the Four of Cups with the Two of Swords. So it's some kind of procrastination uh, going on, either from you or from the Divine or from uh, other people. And um, um, it's offering being done here. Uh, maybe you are in the situation where you try to choose uh, a new situation to apply yourself to or to dedicate yourself to. So you're trying out the different cups that's being... Uh, offered here but no one seems really good enough <laughs> okay so I call the divine with love and light and here we have the high priestess with the two of swords so you're really being selective uh, you don't want to let whomever into your life either it's uh, about uh, romantic love or um, friends that you invite into your life or uh, different adventures that you go on maybe new uh, career things like this because love can be uh, dreams as well uh, the dreams that we hold the things that we love and um, you are putting yourself on a pedestal and uh, guarding your the gateway to your paradise so you're really being in self-respect here and uh, acting as a high value person uh, to avoid disappointments later on sometimes this can of course make you a tad unavailable and uh, maybe you're not really opening up to your emotions so it can be hard also to fall in love or feel engaged by a situation so i call the i ever forgot but maybe for archangels in the four corners of the world and we have the six of cups here with a high priestess so this is kind of a little bit bad news <laughs> okay uh, because you're trying to be strong here, but your your heart wants to drag you along to something uh, that seems very romantic and uh, interesting. But I don't think it's accordingly with your will. I'm getting a little bit headache here because my will wants to be stronger than my heart, but it isn't. Okay, <laughs> so I call the six elements and here we have the chariot with the six of cups so i definitely think your love life will start it will start to roll start to move on things will happen but i'm not sure it's going to happen in the way you have planned or in the way you want it to it might get a little bit out of hand but it's fine love is like that it's never on schedule and uh, it's not uh, often not falling in love with with a logic choice <laughs> so uh, so I want my dear Aries to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success, king of swords, the fool. Mm, you might be dealing with someone that has also been very cold and cold hearted, but maybe not for logical reason more than maybe unexperienced reasons, like a person being uh, shy or unnecessarily 
held back or um, childish in other ways. It can be a person that wants to win or be on top uh, out of inexperience, like being inexperienced. When we are more experienced and seasoned, we also become more loving. The less experienced, uh, the less loving, cold-hearted and cutting. Sometimes we can have a trauma that makes us this way uh, as well. But solving the trauma usually makes us more loving again. So love is always higher than than logic and it rules you more. <laughs> so it's, it's nothing you can do about it. Okay, so just tune in for a few seconds here uh, to you and the energy coming towards you. So, my dear Aries, this will be your future, there, and this is your now, there, and this is the past, and here we have the hermit. Uh, so, the hermit energy, picking down the stars, putting in my lantern. So, you have really asked uh, a lot of questions, why, 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 because you really want to know. You, you don't want to waste your time doing things that's not you know, putting you in the right direction. So I really also put the divine on the spot and, and, and being a little bit hard with them and <laughs> saying like, I need answer. I want them now. And um, so you have put a lot of effort into figure things out and to trying to know what's, why things happen to you in, in a certain way, what you can do about it, how you can um, do better in the future or listen to yourself more in the future. You have also worked very hard to get to know yourself. Um, Knight of Cups, the hero font. Yeah, you want love as uh, anyone else, and you have put a lot of effort into this, uh, and you have also bled a lot uh, because of it. And um, nine, nine, because of this, you don't want to, you don't want to bleed anymore. Um, you are ready to sacrifice yourself for love big time, but then it it gotta be worth it. Uh, okay. And this is the now, and we have the temperance here. So you're you're in the process of balancing different sides uh, for your, to, to yourself. Um, the logical side, the heart, uh, make them into a perfect balance. And balance, and you have no problem with getting wet too. Uh, so usually, if we are too hard or too stone cold, we have problems with getting wet. But I'm not seeing this here. So I'm thinking you're doing a great job. And this is the second card for love. It's the alchemic wedding. So it's about when when we get attracted to someone because there's a spiritual part uh, together with that person. Usually they hold our extreme opposite or something uh, part of our shadow or they are mirroring back a lost soul part or they are mirroring uh, your trauma. Uh, so it's not easy relationships. It's almost like marrying um, a demon, <laughs> but uh, it's really just your shadow. Uh, so it's not that bad. Uh, and if it's not easy, okay. And here we have the future. And in the future, we have the king of swords. Um, six, six of wands, four of wands, seven of wands, eight of swords. Some kind of... Um, here we are trying to really putting ourselves on high horses and um, even maybe victimizing others. So try to be careful with um, with um, people that, you know, always have this little snarky look on their face, judging you for whatever reason and uh, don't want to get their hands dirty, don't want to get in the water with you. OK, these are warning signs. Um, a person with um, this kind of attitude um, that definitely don't want to have troubles in their life can really be drawn to trouble, <laughs> okay? So um, sometimes what we resist the most, it, it's what we end up getting. So don't resist this kind of energy. Just realize that it's not... Um, um, when the person is trying to, you know, win over you or be above you, uh, it's not because uh, they are better than you. It's because they are more insecure than you are and they need to be in control. They need to have the last word and um, they need to 
have things in the way that they wanted it to because in other case they will be nervous and nervousness will wreck this uh, tough uh, exterior and and that would be uh, really dreadful but it's not all bad it's um um but it's uh, almost like a person that wants to be with you but also wants to control you in some way or you know um, they should be the superior one you need to be the inferior one or maybe that's your problem uh, sometimes we can also display our shadow we don't have to do it in this relationship but in another relationship we are doing exactly that so you might want to look at this situation a little bit from above uh, and see where this is going on where we are trying to sit on our high horse because if we fix ourselves we integrate our shadow and become aware of it and start to make healthy choices we will see less of it reflected on the outside so if you don't like a behavior on the outside always look on the inside to see what's what's the problem here in the past we see the nine of pentacles is virgo connected with the hermit that's also virgo uh, so we can see here that you're enjoying aloneness uh, hell is other people <laughs> is what comes to mind here uh, so I think that uh, you're nurturing yourself, you're savoring your energy, uh, you're trying to be uh, maybe also a little bit on the high end, like seeing things from above, being a little bit judgmental, not really investing your emotions into things. Uh, sorry. And the next card, it's the Knight of Wands. So this was a little bit unexpected. Uh, here you were, everything was fine, you were focusing on your own stuff, and here comes whoosh, Knight of Wands. This can be your own energy as well, just being surprised with suddenly wanting to embark on some kind of adventure or getting some kind of epiphany. Uh, but usually what's inside of you is also mirrored on the outside of you. Uh, so it can, it's an incitament for a change that coming here with the Knight of Wands. And then we have the trouble if we want to get, you know, outside our comfort zone, not live in our cave in the mountains uh, anymore, but actually, you know, um, fraternize with people. We are going to have to deal with uh, difficult people, uh, much the type we saw here with a person that's all nice on the surface, but uh, can be a little bit mean in inside <laughs> and um, uh, very stubborn with their own worldview and might not be able to take in someone else's world view and uh, this is um, um, this is the challenge if we are alone nine nine uh, we are fine but as soon as we let other people in uh, trouble begins okay so if we um, if you think you're so enlightened, go and spend a week with your parents, <laughs> someone said. And it's true. Uh, when you're alone, uh, then you can feel, oh, everything is fine. I know myself. I know exactly who I am, what I want, what I don't want. But then other people come in and um, like they rough it up. <laughs> and that's the challenge also because you can't stay alone. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius energy. So the divine um, definitely wants you to. Uh, to pimp up your life a little bit and get in new energies here and uh, stir around the pot a little bit so this is in the now and we have the magician it's uh, mercury uh, messenger messages and uh, communication and new beginnings and um, uh, different inspirations so it goes very well with the knight of wands um, it's it's like a plan here um, a plan we want to do something we have got the inspiration to do something but we're also scared of the consequences of doing this because we had such a good time here just taking care of ourselves and the nine of cups so you're going to continue uh, to take very good care of yourself you know your standards you know your needs so you're not going to uh, compromise with those whatever situation is is coming in here you're, and it's also an element of you wanting to actually share love with people but maybe from um, a less reactive and more detached kind of uh, position so I'm not feeling that you are really uh, becoming dependent on someone or you know really throwing yourself at them or anything like this it's more that well if you want to be with me I can I can um, see too that we 
uh, we are friends and we are having a good time and good things are happening but if you don't want to be with me bye bye so it's not uh, you're not making a big deal out of things and here we have the moon so there's still a big deal <laughs> um, moon is 18 1 plus 8 is 9 so we have 9 9 9 9 9 here um, it's really showing this hermit energy with you but your inspiration or life in general wants to break this free and you know throw you out to the to the wildebeest <laughs> because we have a lot of wildebeest here and um, uh, I'm not sure you this is what you planned it's more that what the divine has planned for you so uh, don't expect trouble per se but with the moon things uh, never really end up in the way we have planned to or we want them to so i'm going to take an oracle card to see what's hidden there in the moon but it's definitely personal growth we have knight of wands moon so it's going or more deeply here you have come to a certain place where you are able to you know take good care of yourself when you're alone and next phase is to take equally good care of yourself and find inner balance also when you are with people uh, so that's what the moon contains. But I want to get more information about this. So we have choices and cycles. They're very similar in their coloring. Um, 46. Uh, so it's very crucial that you stay on the right side of the, you know. The ma magician is, is walking on the thin line between uh, good and bad magic uh, good and bad magic can be um, for example how we manipulate our surrounding where the, we say and do certain things to get them to do what we want uh, that can be borderline to bad magic or black magic because um, what is our purpose what is our intention uh, so you might want to look at this both with yourself and with others at this time um, because we have here the temperance also I talked about um, the other person being your shadow and you being their shadow of course every choice you make has a consequence even your thoughts are like magnets uh, drawing experience to you for the good or for the bad do you know the story of the winged immortal in the house of night who had to show uh, shoes between the dark and the light do you know what he shows Right now you're faced with such a choice. All you need to do is ask, is this for the highest good? If it's only for your good uh, and you're trying to, you know, stay in safety here, only seeing to that you don't get hurt, um, it's probably not for the highest good. The choice you make will be an important step into your life lessons. Remember, even not deciding is a choice. What will it be? Choose another card to show you what your choice will bring you. I'm seeing you have a hard time with vulnerability. It's not necessary for you to be all uh, vulnerable, but um, to, uh, to at least want to you know, educate yourself and stay open to new uh, possibilities. To be vulnerable is the only way to get intimate with another person. You can't get into a real relationship without being vulnerable. Um, so I show you yours, my scars, you show me yours, and that's how we bring in intimacy in a situation. Uh, if we're going to be very general, but if you only talk about weather and how everything is perfect in your life, there's not going to be any intimacy. And if you only want to show up a good exterior and how collected you are and how little affected you are by different situations. Uh, this is not going to impress someone that you want to have a love relationship with or even a friend. Uh, so um, I understand the need for keeping yourself safe, uh, but also uh, also not be so scared for getting things getting out of hand or falling out of whack or you having a, a feeling of, uh, for example, not being able to control a situation or things are not going your way it can be fine anyway. You don't have to be in control. Um, what goes around comes around is the message of the symbol cycles. Uh, the moon goes from new to full in cycles that repeat each month. Whatever you are planning to do or to reveal by asking your question will be revisited in other circumstances. Be clear about your action. You will surely meet this experience again. Remember, what goes around comes around. 
like the moon that revolves around the planet. Here's the moon. Um, the energy that you express is your next in your next action will orbit around to you. Make sure it's a good one. Uh, so I'm thinking the divine is being a little bit strict with you. I don't see big warning signs, but I, I'm seeing this and that's that you're keeping yourself very safe. Uh, are you keeping other people's equally safe or are you throwing them under the bus while you are safe? So look at the situation where you may be dating with people or uh, are you using them up as, um, uh, you know, trash or are you uh, taking care of their feelings equally much as you're taking care of your own? And it's also this element of if we have been hurt and we want to see to that we never get hurt again, we might put ourselves in such a position that we hurt a lot of other people in the process. Uh, so stay open to that. Okay, so moving on. And this is your future. And we have the three of swords. Um, it also came for Leo, but uh, I'm thinking this is what you have tried to avoid by staying in isolation. By staying in isolation, you don't have to see your your trauma, your heartbreak or your unhealed wounds. Uh, everything is fine. Uh, you're staying in your comfort zone. But being dragged out of your comfort zone uh, brings you to exactly the situation uh, that has been uh, tormenting you in the past. And this is a good thing because uh, it is bringing to your attention where you're not yet healed. Being alone, being in isolation... Um, things will feel fine, but they're really not fine underneath the surface. It just feels fine because you're not outside your comfort zone. When you go outside your comfort zone, you're also being aware of where you are not just yet healed. So this situation wants to bring out situation where you're not healed and be brave enough to face this instead of, you know, trying to stay in control and, and, and not having bad feelings. Bad feelings are the road signs showing you where you need to heal. And here we have a six of uh, pentacles. So six of pentacles. Um, again, we have this issue with maybe a person being a little bit infl self-inflated and seeing that all these other people, they need my help. I don't need anyone else's help. Um, so again, I'm thinking you are not making yourself uh, really vulnerable to uh, situations. We'll see the next card. And we have the strength here. So as I said, true strength uh, it's to be able to be vulnerable and to uh, to be able to lose, uh, you know, not always coming out, uh, landing on your two feet, not always looking great in all situations, being able to make a fool of oneself and all these kind of things. That's for that's true strength to just be in control and, you know, uh, have this image of oneself as a, a person that, you know, can take whatever hit and uh, be um, cool and don't really care leave me I don't care bye bye um, it's not really uh, you know strong it's just uh, very controlled it's like living in a thin can or it's this um, story with um, um, the wizard of Oz <laughs> the the robot man or the tin man that had no no heart uh, so you might encounter such a person on the outside, but it's definitely also mirroring something, an element of this on your inside, where you're really trying to stay untouchable, like a person that can't be touched, a person that can't be, um, that can't be wounded. And um, um, yeah, you need to tear down some of your walls. But uh, what I'm also seeing is um, uh, you might encounter someone that, um, have the ability to break your heart and um, there's some kind of heroic song about this here <laughs> I'm trying to I will t see what it is how are you supposed to deal with this kind of situation past life relationship you have known each other before and very soon so it's not really informative for what I asked but it shows that there's a relationship coming to you and it's coming very soon and it's something, you know, with the cycle. So it's something, someone or something like the same drama repeating or the same soul repeating in your life, uh, either from a past life or from your actual life now. And it's going to come very soon and it's going to bring up old wounds. It's going to bring up old uh, uh, traumas with you, but you will deal with it just fine as long as you uh, don't put yourself on the high altitude and just... Uh, you know, your end goal isn't to pretend or, or 
that it doesn't matter. Your end goal is to actually feel what matters and what it doesn't matter what uh, is important to you fight for those things what's not important don't put energy into it and and don't lie to yourself about what is important and what isn't important um the element that's coming in is not a super a super easy energy it probably will be a little bit self-inflated and and not um all that altruistic maybe on a surface so they can look good but kind of same goes for for you this time Aries I hate to say it because a lot of people will get upset but I can't lie when I'm reading the cards so uh, what goes around comes around uh, if you have had this if you have this person on the outside you're probably behaving uh, as this person uh, towards maybe another group of people you can do uh, Byron Katie's the work if you're going to Byron Katie and or you can just um, google the work uh, uh, sheet or the work so you will come to her her page she, she has this worksheet on many different languages so you can download three of them uh, and the first one then you're writing all this down about this horrible wolf in your life and then you're write, writing it down as um, uh, the wolf is you. So you're just changing the name from the wolf's name to your name. And then you can look and laugh also <laughs> about uh, when you get the epiphany of that, uh, the situation where you are actually doing this to other people. Uh, I have done this several many times. So it's making me laugh every time. And the last time, uh, then you write the same story, but how you are doing this to you uh, so you just change to uh, the two people to that both are you how you are doing this to you so i've done this even with my cat that um, was often lying on my stomach and when she got scared of something she raced away uh, leaving big marks <laughs> on my body and uh, <clears throat> this was actually mirroring uh, something in my own life it <laughs> it um, uh, was made obvious with this the work uh, spreadsheet with Byron Katie. Uh, so I think this can be a good moment to use that and, and see what it is that's um, uh, hiding because this is something, it's not something bad, it's something that wants to be loved and integrated. Uh, so um, we're learning as we go. So instead of uh, here up till now, you have learned to look cool even when you're wounded. In the future, uh, you will be able to truly uh, take better care of yourself uh, and, and not be so wounded because you have healed the wound so you can't be really touched in that way so it's like healing yourself on a deeper level and ju then just for show uh, okay uh, so <laughs> thank you so much dear Aries for watching I hope this was helpful and if you like my content and want to see more videos like this on how to heal yourself and make yourself ready for that true romantic partner of yours or if you just want to work on spiritual growth, remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get a heads up when a new video is ready and waiting for you. You can also get access to my premium content membership if you click the join button or follow the link in the description box. And you can also help out my channel through sharing this video with like-minded. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. I'm truly grateful for my wonderful, loving and supporting viewers. Until next time. Stay blessed and bye-bye.